sweet friends welcome back to my channel today's video is super exciting and long awaited because we are finally 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 getting to move in to the new planner so this is the new Erin Condren life planner in the hourly setup which I will show you in just a little bit um, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what mine looks like. I will have it linked in the description box so that you can check out these planners yourself. I'm sure there's thousands of other videos right now of people moving in to new planners um, since these do run from July to June, or at least that's the option that a lot of people get. You can get a calendar year option from January to December, but mine starts in July and will run all the way to next June. So super exciting. Couple things about what you're seeing. My cover is customized. My cover is the Flora option. I can't remember what the name of this flower was. It's okay. Um, I customized it to say Michaela Cheyenne since that is the name um, that I use here on YouTube. That is my first and middle name. And then I also got the rose gold coil. Um, I did the 12 month, so mine is not super duper thick. I'm trying to show you without standing it straight up because you won't fit under the camera. But um, you can get an 18 month option as well if that's something you're interested in. But either way, let's just go ahead and get started. So when you open it up, you get a nice little dashboard here. To be completely honest, I never ever touch this again. I don't use that, just not my thing. Um, then you have a piece of vellum paper. So just kind of this lightweight, almost see-through paper. And then we get to the first thing that we're gonna set up today. So this video is gonna be split up into two parts. You're seeing one today and then you'll see one on Thursday. Today we're gonna set up the front part of the planner and then on Thursday we're gonna do the notes pages in the back. So that's kind of our plan, but we're gonna start here. So I did make a sticker that has my name. So I did a big sticker sheet, um, just looks like this, nothing fancy. I didn't worry about trying to cut it out cute or anything. So I'm just gonna stick this down right here. I'm gonna try to get it kind of sort of straight. It's not that big of a deal because completely honest, I'm probably not gonna look back at this page. But now I have my name in here. It does look a little crooked. Let's see if we can try to fix that some. Oh, don't rip the sticker. I feel like that's not right. And I like really just pushed it down into the paper. I hate these these nails. I can't do anything with these nails on. Okay, good enough. I definitely tore up that part, but whatever. All right, so we're gonna go with that. I purchased the um, Flora like planner kit that came with it. Um, so with that, I got this little guy, which is the sticker book, um, the planny pouch with this nice little rose gold thing. And then I also got the, if I can get them, the sticky notes and these little things right there. So just going to kind of put that out there, but we're going to be using this a lot in the setup. Um, I'll quickly kind of just show you all the pages and then I'm going to grab a couple stickers just to make this a little bit prettier. So lots of stickers, they're all foiled in the three uh, metallics. So you have silver, gold, or rose gold um, as your options. Just gonna keep thumbing through them really quick so you can kind of see what there is offered. We're gonna turn back to this page. I'm gonna use some of these little flowery stickers on the sides just to kind of put a few little cute things here. Not super duper worried about it because like I said, I probably won't really look back at this page that often, but I just thought it would be cute if we put a, a few little flowers. So let's see, we did that one. Let's do this one down here. And that should be good. There we go. All right, so that looks cute. A couple little details. All right, so the next page is just these quote pages. I don't use these for anything. Um, I have seen people cover up the quotes and just use these as like blank pages. Um, you know, whatever, it's up to you. I don't use them, so we're just gonna keep on moving. Here, we're gonna put our school calendar. So that's what we're gonna set up next. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that guy. And I am gonna find in here, there is a sheet that has washi. Don't remember where it's at. Right here. All right, so I'm gonna use these two little pink polka dotted washies um, for this page.
pages. If I can make this look cute. So let's see. I wish we had like a line to follow because I feel like this is going to be extremely crooked and this sticker is getting all kinds of messed up. It is like in a knot. Here we go. I'm trying really hard to get this down as straight as possible. Definitely could have moved over a little bit more, but that's okay. All right, so we got that one there. I'm going to put the same one. There's two of these on the other side. And let's see how easily we can do this one. Okay, that doesn't look terrible, I don't guess. Good enough. All right, so now that we've got that at the top, I just made these little stickers here to say school calendar. So I'm gonna put one of those on each page. So let's just put school up here and we'll put calendar right there. And there we go. All right, so now I need to find my, where is my other sticker book? Right here. All right, so in this, this is one of the um, teacher designer sticker books. I have um, this little sheet that came in here. I'm just gonna pull it out. I've used it a lot, so there's several stickers missing, but this is what we're gonna use for the school calendar. So I did get my first teaching job. I will start in the fall, so that is super exciting. So that's kind of what we're gonna be putting into this calendar. I have my teacher lesson planner, um, which I already did the calendar in. I didn't do a setup for that just because there's not a lot that I can set up on camera with that. Um, since there is a lot of like personal information I put in that one. Um, but either way, we're going to go ahead and just kind of roll with this. So let's start. We're just going to fold this in half actually. And let's just start over here. So we have nothing in July, August the 9th through the 12th. We have teacher work days. And let's see, I want to make sure we have enough because there's several teacher work days. So let's use this color. All right, so let's do the ninth. This is very difficult. So that is a week that we have to be there. That'll be a week I can work in my classroom and get things ready for the first day of school, which is the 16th. So let's see, how do we wanna mark the first day of school? I'm gonna use, hmm, let's use this pink. Cause I don't need a ton of them. It's just be the first and last day. So there is our first day of school, okay. All right, then we skip over to September. We don't have anything for the rest of August. September the 6th, we don't have school. That is Memorial Day weekend. It is gonna be a weather makeup day, um, but as of right now, they are not planning on us having school that day. So we'll just use one of these guys for that day. And then on the 22nd, we have a half day um, for like teacher professional development. So it'll be a work day for the second half of the day but I do want to note that that's gonna be a half day for students. Okay. All right, then we have October. Over here in October, we have a half day on the 15th. So let's go ahead and grab another one of those little purple stickers, put him down there. We also have a half day on the 27th. So again, those are just some days where we have like professional development in the afternoons. And then we have a full teacher work day on the 18th. Um, so that'll be a regular teacher work day. All right, then in November, we have nothing except for the week of Thanksgiving. We have no school. Um, so we're gonna put that in the same color that we did that weather makeup day in. 
Actually, let's not do those. Let's do those weather makeup days in that color and let's do no school in this like peachy color. If I can get it off. These things are not coming off very easily. All right, so we get the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th off. Okay, so there's that. That's it for November. Then in December, we have nothing at the beginning of the month. We have a half day, the 21st. So back up here to these little purple ones. I hope I'm getting all these colors right. <laughs> that would be bad. And then we have no school for the rest of December. So I'm going to put these little things for the weekdays of December. Obviously, I'm not worrying about the weekends because we wouldn't have school anyways. So we're just going to stick these things down here. I'm really hoping we don't run out of this color because that would suck. All right. Do, do, do. the 31st okay all right so then we move down here into December in the new year so we have no school on December 3rd and then December 4th is a teacher work day and then kids will come back on the 5th so then we'll have a short week that week um, then the 17th we have no school let's see what color did I use for that this color I don't think it's, no. Okay, it's just no school. All right, then in February the 2nd, we have a half day. So for those, we're using these purple ones. And then the 18th, we have a teacher work day. And then the 21st, we have, 21st, goodness, we have a weather makeup day. So we'll be out that day unless we need that. So hopefully we won't need that, but um, usually we do. All right, so then in March we have the second is a half day. And the 14th is, I have that marked as two things. So, oh, it's a weather day and a teacher work day. That's interesting, okay. So I'm just going to mark that as a teacher work day, I guess. Yeah, we'll do it as a teacher work day. And then we might have kids that day. We might not. All right, let's flip over a couple more months and we'll be done. All right, so then in April, we have our spring break from the 11th through the 15th. So that will be no school. It's not makeup days um, or anything like that. What did I use for no school? Okay. I used orange, but I wanted to make sure. So let's get these down. Okay, and then that's it for April. And then in May, the 26th is, oh, okay. So the 26th is our last day of school. What did I use for that? I think I used pink. So we'll have 26 is our last day of school and then the 27th is a teacher work day. Okay, so that is all of those. Let's open this back up so you can see all of it. Um, I think I'm gonna try to put a little key down here, but let's see if I can find a pencil and a ruler. I'm gonna try to draw some like just faint little lines down here so that we can um, have a straight line or at least as straight as possible. I dropped my ruler, so we're just gonna use this. All right. Let's see. Let's see how I did this in my other planner. All right. Okay. 
Okay. So we'll use those lines just so it's kind of sort of as straight as possible. All right, so the first thing that we'll have is our teacher work days. Okay, and let's just jot down teacher work day. Okay, then we have our first and last day of school, which we did in pink. Goodness gracious. Um, let's put that one right here. Okay. And then we'll have weather days. And what color do we do those in? We did those in this green color. So that's this one. Okay. And then the last two are half dates and no school. So half days we did in purple. And then no school we did in this orange color. So we're done with that now. Let's put half day here and no school there. Okay. Now, I wonder if this, that pencil of course does not have an eraser. So let's find one that does have an eraser and erase these lines. I do it very carefully so that I don't get back over my ink. Because if I go over the ink, then it won't look the best. Okay. Good enough. And there we have, I think it actually looks really cute. We have our school calendar. Okay, so moving on, let's move this out of the way because we don't need that school planner out anymore. This is probably one of my favorite pages in my planner. Um, and I'm gonna show you last year's in just a second. So here I make a monthly bucket list. So basically I sat down and I'll sit down some after this as well and kind of think through things that I want to do each month. But let me show you this month's or this year's. This year's definitely I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to because of the Rona, but it is what it is. So each month I just sit down and I make a list of what I want to get done that month. I will put some things in now so that you guys can have an idea. Um, but most of this I will set up without you guys and I will post a picture on my Instagram when it is set up so that you can see it. So definitely make sure you're following me there if you would like ideas and want to do something similar. But then throughout the month I can just check off you know what I did get to do or whatever. So kind of just a fun little way to make a purpose behind doing things. Um, I don't know. I think it's fun. So that's what we do. All right, so this time, usually in the past with the colorful planners, I'm gonna bring mine back over for a second. The colors up here matched the month, so I had to do January over here because it matched, or I didn't have to, but it made more sense to. This time, we don't have those colors, which is actually pretty good because I'm gonna start with July over here since the planner starts in July. Um, so I just made these little stickers. I'm gonna put one at the top of each one of these guys. Try to kind of center him as much as possible. Not super worried about it though. All right, let's fold this in half just to make it a little bit easier. So there's July. Here is August. And then we have September. October. Okay, come back up. You're crooked. Ah, oh, these nails. I cannot stand these nails. I love having my nails done, but I am just not the kind of girl that's supposed to have her nails done, I don't think. It's, they tend to drive me crazy, especially once I've had them done for a while. 
All right, November. And December. All right, let's flip over. And we have a January. I had to remake February and March because they turned out a little funny. So here is February. And then March. April. May. And June. Perfect. All right. So now that that is set up, I am going to look and see if I can find a cute little sticker to put beside each month, I think. Let's see what we can find in the sticker book. I love these, but I don't know how good they're going to look. We'll keep a finger there. We might try those. Let's see. And something small. Hmm. Those are small. Those are smaller than those, actually. I think that's what we're going to use. Because I don't think there's anything back here. No. Okay, so let's use these. I'm actually just going to pull this out because that's going to make life a little bit easier. Even though I said I wouldn't do that in that one. Whatever. Alright. Let's put... Hmm. I don't guess it's really going to matter what colors we put where. So we'll just put blue on July. I'm just going to put one over here in the corner just to give it a something small. And then we'll go tan, so blue, tan, purple, no, don't stick yet, I'm not ready for you to stick, and pink. And then we'll start back over with blue. I hope there's enough here to do that. Should have thought about that first. Oh, goodness, come on. It's one thing that's not the best. Some of the Erin Condren stickers don't peel the paper back up when they come off, but some of them do. And it really sucks when that happens. Oh, look, February got pink. How fitting. comes after tan purple and pink okay cool I think that looks cute all right I wish I had enough to do one on both sides but I don't have enough of that for sure or at least not that size ones okay so let's go ahead I'm gonna fill in just a few um things where did I put my ruler at oh I dropped it in the floor let me pick that up really quick because we're gonna need that. So the way that I set these up, um, I like to give myself a little line to put a check mark on just because I'm that kind of person that likes to check things off. So what I'm gonna do is come out just a little bit and I'm gonna line it up all the way down the page to where I'm a little bit past the beginning of the line and I'm gonna make a mark. And that way at least they'll all start at the right spot, if that makes sense. I will end up putting something on all of the lines. Um, I won't with you guys right now, just because I'll have to give it some more thought and look at stuff that we have coming up. But that kind of gives me a place to start. That actually looks really bad, but whatever. I could, I guess, come back on this side and line it up with my longest ones down there. Hmm. Do I want to do that? I guess that might would make it look a little bit better. that actually doesn't look much better but whatever all right so let's do ahead I'm gonna do that all the way across at least on this page and then we'll kind of start jotting some things down that way you guys can get a few ideas today 
and then you can get a few ideas from my posts that I'll make on Instagram. kind of the same length as those other ones. I guess I could just put like a dot one way. Well, that one looks really bad. I also really suck at drawing straight lines apparently. Whatever. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with July. So one thing that I always put in July is go out for ice cream and watch fireworks just because I feel like that's such a fitting July thing, right? So let's put those down. So go out for ice cream and watch fireworks. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? I'm gonna skip the rest of that for now. All right, so then let's do August. Um, in August, we actually have a lot of fun things going on. So I will get a, I'm gonna put, um, get a back to school Manny. Actually, I'll just put Manny Petty because that's a little bit easier to write. Oh, uh, let's see what else do I have on there again? No, okay. So Manny Petty and how do I want to put this one? I start my first teaching job in August. So I guess I'll just put start school maybe. Or should I put like meet your new babies? Meet students. Um, let's do meet new students. And put start teaching. Okay, I like that. All right, and then in September, I always decorate for fall in September. I'm going to leave that one there. October, we will carve pumpkins. And we will watch old Halloween movies. So like the Halloween Town movies and all those that used to go on Disney Channel when I was a kid. We like to watch those. Even ones older than that, but those are my favorite. Um, November, let's see. We will go, let's see, let's do, I'm going to skip November actually. I usually will do something like cook for Thanksgiving or spend time with family for Thanksgiving and then I always put go shopping because I like to do Black Friday shopping or at least like Cyber Monday some sort of shopping I don't know how that'll look this year but shopping is my thing so we like that um let's see over here for December we'll do I always like to bake cookies I think that's just a fun December thing to do we'll go to the parade We're a couple, there's actually a couple in our area that we go to. Um, hmm. Go see Christmas lights. I can't write. I'm 
the coil. All right, go see Christmas lights, go to parades. Uh, we'll watch Christmas movies. And then we'll leave that one blank. I'll probably put like watch Hallmark or go get a Christmas Manny or something else on there. But for now, we'll leave that one blank. All right. So that kind of gives you an idea of what I do here. I'm going to do the other side, um, not in a video because we're already at 30 minutes. And I feel like that's a long time for a video. But I'll go through and put my little check marks. And then I will just start writing out some stuff. Whoa, you guys are really shaking. Um, I actually really like the way this one turned out this time. Um, I love the more muted colors with the Flora stickers. Um, the planner I got is not the Flora planner. I got the Just My Type planner, so it has um, just some different little fonts and stuff. I really like the Flora planner, but it was a little too much Flora for me, so we went with this one. Um, but I did choose to do the Flora like add-on kit thing, so I like that. But Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about what I do here, um, definitely leave those down in the comments below. I'm also very curious to know how do you guys set this page up? Um, I've seen this page done a ton of different ways. For the past like three or four years, I've set it up with this bucket list and I actually really, really enjoy it. Like I said, this turns out to be one of my favorite pages um, or spreads in my planner. But I'm curious to know how you guys set up this page in your planner. What do you use this for? Um, as well as what do you use these little mini calendars months for? So just curiosity, how do you guys use this part of your planner? Um, again, I will have another setup video posted on Thursday where I will show you how I'm setting up all of my notes pages and what I'm going to be using that for. Um, I may also share some more ideas outside of what I use for my notes pages because I know that that's one of those things that a lot of people struggle with is how to fill all the pages in your planner. Um, so I'll share some ideas and set up with you guys what I want to put in mine. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that you can stick around for all those other videos to come as well as all of my classroom setup and teaching videos to come. And I will catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye guys.